shift are the scale invariant feature transform in previous video we saw some kind of detector like Harris which are rotation invariant which means even if the image is rotated we can find the same corners it is obviously because corner remain corner in the rotated image also but what about the scaling a corner may not be a corner if the image is scaled for example check a simple image here a corner in the small image within a small window is flat when it is zoomed in the same window so here is corner detector is not scale invariant so a new algorithm scale invariant feature transform has been published which extract key points and compute at descriptors this algorithm is invariant to the image scale and rotation it is robust to the affine distortion change in 3d viewpoint addition of nice or change in illumination advantages of shift are that it use local features which is robust to the occlusion and the clutter second one individual features can be matched to a large database of objects that means that many features can be generated for the even very small objects and this algorithm is close to the real-time performance here is some invariant local features of the shift steps for extracting the key points are there are mainly four steps involved in the shift algorithm first one is scale space peak selection which means that potential location for finding the features second one is key point localization that means that accurately locating the feature key points the third one is orientation assignment means assigning orientation to the key points the last one is key point descriptor means describing the key points as a high dimensional vector we will see them one by one scale space peak detection from the image it is obviously that we can't use the same window to detect key point with different scale it is okay with small corners but to detect the larger corners we need larger windows for this scale space filtering is used and at Laplacian of Gaussian is found for the image with various values Laplacian of Gaussian act as a blob detector which detect blobs in various size, sizes due to change in in short X is a scaling parameter for example in the above image Gaussian kernel with low gives high values for small kernels while Gaussian kernel with high values fit well for larger kernels so we can find the local maxima across the scale and space which give us a list of values which means there is a potential key point at xy at scale but this Laplacian of Gaussian is little costly so shift algorithm uses difference of difference of Gaussian which is an approximation of LOG difference of Gaussian is obtained as the difference of Gaussian blurring of an image with two different let it be and this process is done for different octaves of the image in Gaussian pyramid it is represented an image once this differential of Gaussian are found image are searched for the local extrema over scale and space for example 
one pixel in an image is compared with its eight neighbors as well as nine pixel in the next scale and nine pixel in the previous scale. If it is a local extrema, it is a potential key point. It basically means that key point is best represented in this scale. Regarding different parameters, the paper gives you some empirical data which can be summarized as number of active equal to 4, number of scale level equal to 5, initial, etc. as optimal values. In the scale space peak detection, compare a pixel X with the 26 pixels in the current and the adjacent scale which are represented in the image as green circles. Select a pixel X if larger, smaller than all 26 pixels. Large number of extrema, computationally expensive. So detect the most stable subset with a coarse sampling of scale and trust point are at minimum or maximum different than detecting edges. Key point localization. Once mm, potential key points local locations are found, they have to be refined to get more accurate results. They use Taylor series expansion of scale space to add more accurate to get more accurate location of the extrema. And if the intensity at this extrema is less than a threshold value, which is 0.03 in the paper, it is rejected. Differential of Gaussian have higher response for the edges, so edges also need to be removed. For this, a concept similar to Harris Kerner detector is used. They use a 2 cross 2 Hessian matrix to compute the principal curvature. We know from Harris Kerner detector that for edges, one eigenvalue is larger than the other. So, here they use a simple function. If, the ratio, if this ratio is greater than a threshold, that key point is discarded. So it eliminates any low contrast key point and edges key point and what remain as strong interest points. From 832 key points, only 532-36 key points are remaining using the threshold 0.03. The next one is orientation assignment. Now, an ori orientation is assigned to each key point to achieve invariance to image rotation. A neighborhood is taken around the key point location depending on the scale and the gradient magnitude and the direction is calculated in that region. An orientation histogram with 36 bins covering 360 degree is created. It is weighted by a gradient magnitude and Gaussian weighted circular window which with equal to 1.5 times the scale of key point. The highest peak in the histogram is taken and any peak above the 80% of it is also considered to calculate the orientation. It creates key points with same location and scale but different direction it contributes to stability of matching key point descriptor now key point descriptor is created a 16 plus 16 neighborhood around the key point is taken and divided into 16 sub block of 4 cross 4 size for each sub block 8 bin orientation histogram is created so a total of 128 bin values are available it is represented as a vector to form the key point descriptor in addition to this several measures are taken to achieve robustness against illumination changes and rotation Key points between two images are matched by identifying their 
nearest neighbors but in some cases the second closest match may be very near to the first it may happens due to the nice or some other reasons in this case ratio of the closest distance to second closest distance is taken if this ratio is greater than 0.8 they are rejected it eliminates around 90% of false matches while discard only 5% correct matches as mentioned in the paper thank you